Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. Guys, I just want to say a big thank you to Kai Weets for sending me this stuff out, supporting the channel, and you know, just been a big supporter of the channel for all these years. God, all these years is crazy. Um, if you go to Kai Weets website, buy things, even if they're on sale, it seems like my uh, discount code still works. So use KA15, okay, for 15% off. And guys, I wanted to show you something. I got, so I meant to do this video and I brought this Christmas bag down. They sent me a Christmas bag. See this Christmas bag? It's really cool. They sent me one last year and I did that video. I brought this one down. I put it down and then I put this box in front of it. And so I just lost track of it. And I was going to do a video on this thermal camera. And I saw this shirt in the closet. And I'm like, hey, where's that bag? And so I came looking for it and I found it. And I found what meters I have left. I've given away a lot of things. I kind of had to stop because I kind of made a mistake. Um, one month I gave a lot of stuff away. And it cost me like well over 200 Probably, I hate to even think. Maybe it was over $300. I had my wife go drop off some stuff one day. And, and that was kind of a mistake. Because she's like, wow. She was, that was, I think just her thing alone was almost $200. Yeah, so maybe it was close to $400. Because I think when I went, it was over $200. So anyway. Uh, but they gave me this nice pen. It has a flashlight on one end. Then on this end, you can re pull it out and remove it. But it, on one end, it's like a glass breaker. The other end is a pen. So that's pretty cool. I got to put that in my, in my toolbox, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, and then a the couple of keychains, which I need to use these. That'll match my red car. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I just forgot about this stuff. Some nitro gloves with the cotton kind of padding. Uh, that's Those are nicer than the ones I usually buy, I think. So they're made by 3M. That's pretty cool. And then I wanted to show you these big clamp-on meters, these big boxes. See this big old case? I mean, I don't know if you've seen my reviews on these. I'm going to do another review where I kind of do a shootout on clamp-ons and or clamp meters and just kind of show you how nice these are. But they are really nice meters. These are the 208 series, which kind of their higher-end series. Um, this is that one. Then there's also the D. Uh, and then they... I, I had a bunch of these guys. I actually, um, yeah, it was kind of funny because they kind of doubled up. They sent me like a couple batches of meters. And so I I think I gave like four or five of these away one time. When I did the giveaways, it's funny because some of the giveaways, I'd only get one or two or three people responding. And then sometime, one time I got five. And even on that one, uh, I didn't pick a person. I gave... Like where I got one or two people, I gave both people uh, something. And then where I had five the one time, I gave all five meters away. And so, and I had one that was, I had a few out of the country, uh, Canada, I forget. It seems like, like Netherlands or Norway or something like that. I, I don't, I kind of actually forget. And then uh, I think I gave one to South America somewhere and Hawaii, Hawaii was just as expensive, it seems like. It seemed like that was real expensive. Canada is expensive. So after that year, when I was given so many meters away, my wife's like, wow. She goes, that's, you know, that's way too expensive. I mean, I was just losing a lot of money. I was spending a lot more money in, on shipping than I was bringing in on the channel. I don't you know, it's a small channel. So anyway, there you go. I still have a few things left. I like to give them away, but I can't, I just can't afford to ship anymore. So my wife's actually tried to sell stuff on eBay for me. And, um, and that's kind of a pain in the butt too. Uh, they want 15%. So if I could, I had to start doing yard sales, right? Where I've seen people doing that. Maybe I need to do that. But here's that thermal camera I was going to review. This is a really nice thermal camera. It's actually like not one of the more expensive ones. It's a KTI 200. And I forget what the thermal resolution. I want to say it's 240 by 240, which is an interesting uh, resolution, you know, grid. Because, yeah, that's... So it's actually high res, but, yeah, that's just an interesting grid. Uh, I've got a couple boxes of these circuit breakers. Now, to be honest, I uh, the non-contact folder thing works great. The 
The thing that shows the voltage is awesome. The circuit breaker finder itself, I've got two panels in the house because it's an older house and we added a, added a paddle. Maybe that's why I've had a hard time making it work because uh, I've heard from other people the circuit breaker works, but so it's, I'm going to try again. Anyway, just want to be up front that I haven't had that working yet. Uh, this nice tool kit here, they've given me a soldering iron like this, just USB-C. And this thing is so handy when you just want to get in some place and, you know, and you want to reach down without having a soldering station and all that. These are really handy. I used to have a, well, I still do have the one with the little gas, but this is so much more convenient than the gas one. And then you have to light it inside the thing and close it and... It's, I mean, they work well, they work really well, but yeah, they're pain in the butt. This thing works really well and it's super easy to use. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I got one of their cases. I think they gave me two of them. I might give them one of them away, which man, I really like these cases. I should have kept it because <laughs> I put my tools in there uh, and extra leads, like my real nice silicon leads that cost me 10 bucks. Um, I have links down below for those things, but I use that for that so I can put my tool bag that I carry around and when I go to somebody's house, I need to help them out or, you know, install a solar panel. I have a little bag that I carry, but yeah, guys, and I also have, I I think I gave, I, I'm going to, I want one set of these, but the, the extra ones I'm going to, you know, I can let go of, but I do want one set so I can compare to other ones when I get other things I want to review. And I used to have two or three of these they gave me, but I think I gave them away. So I'll probably keep this last set if it is my last set. I'm trying to look, because I thought I had one more set around here. It was kind of funny because uh, they gave me stuff in my Christmas bags. And so I got duplicates or triplicates of some things. And uh, like the 206 meters, I gave those away. I think I had another set of 208s I gave away. Um, yeah, I was giving a lot of stuff away and it was mostly Kiwit stuff. Um, I also had some, you know, Zoe and some other things. I'm looking over here at some tops, uh, meters I need to give or get rid of. Yeah, I'd love to give them away, but it's just so expensive. Guys, what I'm doing now is I'm asking people when they want to send me a meter review, if it's not something more expensive like this, if it's a lower cost meter, which I kind of forgot to do. Sometimes I forget, like this is a boo I just reviewed. Uh, this one, I think I gotta let that go too. But I, I'm trying to remember to ask, uh, to send one to one of my viewers. Let me pick a winner and then they can ship it directly. That way they don't ship it to me and then I have to pay for shipping to give one away. That way I can give one away and it doesn't cost anything to shipping. So I can actually give one away and some people will give them away to anybody, you know, that they normally ship to in other countries as well. I, I believe that's true because it depends on where they come from. And then some have told me as long as it's in the U.S., continental U.S. So anyway, at least at least there's that. So I'm trying to work on giving stuff away for free still. And, uh, and you know what? If I can get 40,000 views or subscribers by the end of the year... I, you know, I'll take a batch of things I still have and I'll do a giveaway, but let's get there. I, it's going to be tough to make it, you know, based on the trend, you know, 75%, 80% of the people watch the channel, they don't subscribe or YouTube unsubscribe. So check to see if it says subscribe, if you think you're subscribed because, because it's possible that you could be unsubscribed. So just hit the subscribe again. <laughs> So guys, I just want to say thank you to Kai Wheats. You know, when they sent this out to me and I saw the Christmas bag, I just realized like, man, all this stuff they've given me, like this little set here, really nice. It's a little mini version of the E. Well, I think of the A version of the meter. It's the HT113B. And then there's the non-contact voltage pencil stick in here. And then there's the plug for the check your, you know, make sure your voltage is going right so this little kit and i have to find a home for this my wife uh is trying to do things on ebay but it is paying the butt the extra 15 percent they want you know kind of i ended up sending selling a meter i think it was a 70 dollar meter 
and I think I sold it for 15 bucks is my part. But I, I think it's $70 on sale to Amazon. So, uh, and other than reviewing it, it's like brand new. So, and I'm going for like 15 bucks. So, <laughs> I'd rather uh, sell something to one of my viewers for $15 instead of somebody on eBay. But anyway, yeah, this HT118A or the 118E. So this this meter here, it's been, you know, I, I mean, you guys know the HT118 series, right? And then they came out with this one. Is it 20? Yeah, it's 20,000 counts instead of 6,000 counts. You know, other than that, for a 6,000 count meter, this is awesome. I bought this when I started the channel. So I bought this one and I bought it from Habitus because I didn't know about Kiwi's at the time. But it looks like a Kiwi's meter, right? It's a 118. I think it goes under different names. I don't know who makes it, if it's Kiwi's or what, but Kiwi's has quite the line. When I God, now I'm trying to remember the the CE mark. It's it's normally a self test, self certification, but these meters actually have a third party certification. And I'm trying to remember whose name it was under. Is it seems like it's either Kiwi's or Havel Test. So it could be Havel Test is one making them for Kiwi's. I I don't know. Yeah, it was fa you know. And if you go back and watch my video when I talk about uh, the CE mark or whatever on these meters. I, I I explain who where that is and I show it actually on that video. So it is actually tested at a third party lab for safety. So pretty nice. But yeah, the clampons, I mean the products that they sell, they seem like they're well made. This this Kiwi's um thermal camera that I'm gonna review, like I was gonna review today, so I'll probably do it tomorrow. Um that is right now just a little bit I've used it. And the resolution, the specs on it, it's pretty amazing. And the price, I uh, can't remember exactly what the price is. It's It seems like it's down around a couple hundred bucks. So that is really cheap for a really nice thermal camera. I mean, the thermal cameras in the last year have gotten really nice. I've got a few of them I got to review. And I was going to, um, so I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to do the other ones, okay? But there you go, guys. Uh Look at the banner they sent me. I should put it on my wall, huh? Yeah, they've never paid me to do any videos or they don't pay me anything. I get, uh, you know, some affiliate credit, like when you go to their channel and buy. I think I get a better credit from them. I certainly do than I do from Amazon. But uh, it's not, you know, but everything adds up, right? So like the video, subscribe, and Let's say, say thanks uh, to Kai Wheats. And if you guys have any good stories, bad stories, whatever about Kai Wheats, put them down in the comments. Okay, let's learn. Because so far, I've just had a good experience with them. I think their products, especially the price, are pretty darn amazing. So um, if you guys aren't familiar with Kai Wheats, I mean, it's cool how they do the lights and they tell you which where to put the leads. <laughs> so, I mean, I think, you know, it's kind of cool for a beginner, especially like, oh, okay, plug them in here. So anyway, they're nice meters. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And thanks for the shirt, Kiwi Eats.